Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Programming. Here I'll continue teaching you about C language and how to write programs in C language. I'm Naveen Mishra and I'll continue from where we left in the previous video. Last time I talked about searching and 2D arrays. Now in this video, I will teach you about the strings. Okay, so let's begin. Strings. What are strings actually? Actually, strings are collection of characters written in double quotes. Right now, um, until now, all the programs that we were doing, we were doing the programs related to numbers in integers or fraction part values. But sometimes you want to store the name of the person or address or city or anything that relates to a string that is collection of characters. Okay, so what is a string? A string is a collection of characters written in double quotes. These are called double quotes. Okay, so strings must be placed in these double quotes. Generally, to create a string in C language, you have to create an array of characters. There is another way to do that using dynamic, uh, dyna uh, implementing dynamic string using pointers, but we'll start with the array of characters. Irrespective of what is the size of your string, irrespective of what is the length of your array, all the strings in C language always ends with a null character that represents backslash zero, uh, backslash zero that represents the null character. Okay, so every string ends with a null character. You can place anything inside the double quotes. You can place a name, you can place a city name, you can place an address, a phone number or any symbol. That is characters, integers, floats, symbols, everything is allowed inside your string. How would you declare a string? You will type character as a data type, then put any name, string name and inside these square brackets, you will put the size of the array. Okay. So this will create an array. For example, I have done here char name 20. When you do this, an array will be created for you like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 to 9, an array will be created for you. And let's say uh, I have missed a trick here, like uh, I forgot to write name is equals to America. So let's suppose that I have written in the next line name is equals to America in double quotes. Once you do that, character by character, the contents of string America will be stored in the in the array. So A is stored in the zeroth location and these represents the single quote because strings are a collection of characters. So on M, E, R, I, C, A. Now America is of seven letter words. Okay, seven, seven character words. But I have uh, used, I have allocated 10 spaces. To free up all the other spaces at the end of every string, C language introduces this backslash zero or null character. This null character helps you to conserve some memory. So eight and nine will not be used and will be freed up for the other things and can be used by the other uh, sources for memory allocations. Okay. So this is the way how you will create an string. Okay. So let's see the program now. Now here I have written a program for you guys. In the fourth line here, I have declared an array of name, which is whose data type is character. That is, it is a string. So I have created a string of 20 spaces. Then I have asked the, I have asked the name from the user and this name is stored inside this name variable. Then I have printed this name. Let's see the output here. So this, this was the output Enter any name because of this printf. Then I have entered a name donut and using scanf this name is stored in this name variable and then printf printed this message simple as that okay now one thing to make uh, to uh, one thing to consider here is that percentage s is used to read the characters read the strings in using scanf or printf so percentage s represents are used to represent the character array that is strings okay but there is a problem with printf and scanf Printf at scanf functions consider the space as the end of the string. I'll I'll show you how 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 it happens. Let me let me show you that. Just a second. I'm opening Dave C++ now. So I have written this program earlier. So I'll open this program. There you go. Uh, I have made some changes, so I'll correct it. Just wait for a second. I have to type. Printf your name and a percent s comma and 
name and then print f welcome percentage name now i will not require these thing i'll compile and run my program now you see here so let's say i enter a name donut now donut is uh, displayed and used by the character array but since i have used printf and scanf functions if i compile my program and put a name with a space like donut only donut is stored now i have placed a space here so this space will not be cleared will not be considered and will be considered as the end of the string because of this printf and scanf functions you guys have used now let's see what is the solution of this printf and scanf functions just a second now put test and get test are the methods or the functions that you can use to overcome the problem that you have found earlier in the program so what is a put test put test stands for put string and is used as a replacement for printf so instead of printf you guys can use put test put test is used to print the string on output string screen opposite to put is get 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 a stands for get string and is used as a replacement for scanf function so you can read the string from the output screen using get as method both this method will consider the space and the continuing string in the string array so put test and get as can be used to overcome the problem of spaces how to use them you have just you just have to place the uh, array that you have used for uh, character storage so put as name and get as name will work for you and will consider the spaces they do not require any percentage s or percentage c so put as and get as do not require any conversion specified let's try to do that first so i'll ask the i'll remove this scan kind of function and will use get as function okay and to print i'll remove this thing as well as this percentage s and will use put as for name and let's try to compile and run the program again so i'll ask now donut trump now there you go it is considering the space donut trump so you can use get as and put as method if your string contains some spaces okay so let's continue with our program with our strings let's consider now sometimes when you use the string you would like to perform some basic operations like converting your string to upper or lower case or finding how many characters are there in your string to perform all these functions in c language there is an inbuilt header file named as string.h okay using this header file you can perform various methods various functions okay for as per your requirement so let's see what are the methods or the functions available in string.h so these are the seven string functions available in string header file so in short it is written as strupr which represents string in upper case strlwr string in lower case then reverses the given string strlen string length which counts the total number of characters in your string strcmp used to compare two string and stands for string compare strcpy copies the string and strcat concatenates the two string okay now let's see how these functions work in detail okay so continue let's continue now first of all strupr since it is a function it takes one argument as input and returns one argument as and returns one string it takes one string as argument and returns it in upper case for example here i have written an example so this strupr function will execute first and this donut will be converted into upper case okay I, i'll write some program i'll write these programs for you guys and will show you how these functions can be used in a program okay same as strlwr func lwr function is used string lower just you just have to replace your upr with lwr and it will convert this string donut into the lower cases so this d will be converted into lower case okay then reverse opposite of string donut so d o n a l d will be printed in a reverse order that is d l a n o d okay so string reverse method can be used to reverse the string okay now string length function it will calculate how many characters are there in your 
string so in donut you have six characters d o n a a l d okay so these six characters the count is stored in this length variable okay so this is the str alien string length function then the other functions are like str cpy it copies the second string into first string this method requires two parameters as a, as input and returns the one string as output okay so this donut and trump will be combined into a new string called donut drop and will be stored here in the new string similar similarly there is a str cat function which concatenates the strings the second string trump will be embedded at the end of the donut so your string will will be first string will be converted to donut trump okay and this trump will be there as it is str cmp this function is very useful to perform some functions related to strings like uh, sorting the names or searching a string so str cmp function is very useful it compares two string based on their ascii values you have to pass two arguments in the string and it can, it will produce it will compare them and can produce three values okay so you have to write the string str cmp function like this way if and inside the if you can pass this str cmp with two strings that are to be compared okay it can produce three results less than 0 greater than 0 or equals to 0 if both the strings are same that is donut and donut then it will produce equals to 0 now if the strings are not same then it will compare the strings character by character so first of all d will be compared by tree t now this d and t does not match as soon as this characters do, does not match the compiler will check their ascii value so d have an ascii value i think uh, 69 and t will have some other value let's say uh, 86 now 69 is less than 86 so based on their ascii value if the of the unmatched character is less than the second uh, string then it will produce less than 0 and oppositely greater than 0 okay so donut will be printed first and trump will be printed later so this string comparison will produce less than 0 value okay now let's see some programs let me write some programs where i'll show you how to use these methods okay so i'll start from new i'll put a title here program to display the use of all the methods in string dot h header file so i'll declare a header file stdio dot h then i'll use string dot h uh, i missed e here so let me correct that then i'll start main function i'll declare an array char name 20 comma last underscore name 20 and full underscore name 20 okay and i'll ask the value of name and last name so print up enter your first name i'll use scanf initially uh, to make the programs easier to understand so scanf percent s comma and name i'll copy this code to save some save my time enter your last name and i'll say last underscore name here now uh, let me save this program first mm, string functions one okay so uh, let me use the first function that is str upr so print up upper case percent s comma str upr name okay so let's see if it works and then we'll continue i'll end run my program uh, just a second uh, i misspelled here i'll enter your first name let's say donut and trump so there you go your string first string donut is converted into upper case that is in all caps donut so let's continue the, to perform other functions this is your first function i'll copy the code and i'll say string in lower and i'll place a slash in here to print the message in the next line okay 
so I'll convert this UPR to LWR okay let's try to compile and run the program again there you go first string is in uppercase and second string is in lowercase okay so let's continue I'll copy the lines again and put it here string in reverse order I'll replace it with REV string reverse. Let's compile and again donut trump and there you go. Reverse of donut is printed to you. Okay, so let's continue further. Just a second. And I'll say is sorry our reverse is already printed so I'll, i have to print the total number of characters so total number of characters in a string and i'll say str l e n string length function donut trump the uh, just a second i made a mistake Okay, sorry. Uh, as a string length produces returns the value in integer, so I have to place a integer here. Percentage D for that. Compile and run. Donut. Trump. And there you go. Total number of characters in Donald is six. Okay, so these are the easy functions. And let's find. Let's compare these. Uh, before comparing, let's continue some other easy programs. Uh, let's start with copy. So I'll say strcpy name comma And I'll print f the message that is string after copying string one plus syntax slash d string two plus syntax comma name comma Uh, Donald Trump and there you go uh, now this first name is uh, Donald and the second name is Trump now this Trump is copied into this name and so both names are Trump Trump here okay so this is after copying now let's continue str cat concatenate and I'll say name comma last underscore name and I'll this print this name I'll say string after string after concatenating and I'll print these names so uh, I'll put this function before because this copy will otherwise have the same names so just a second control x control v let's try to run the program uh, donut trump mm, okay so after concatenating Trump and Donald Trump and let me see what, what what is the problem here so last name is copied into the uh, concatenated with the name actually uh, I have performed the string reverse function before that so D L A N O D is placed here and this Trump values that is second last name is passed here okay so I think this works fine and let's compare these values cmp compare name comma last underscore name uh, printf both the strings are same as if str cmp name comma last underscore name greater than zero And there you go. Uh, the message is second string is greater. This DLA NOD is compared with this Trump, 
and since t is capital so second string is greater the message is shown to you as it returns this value less than zero so this works okay so this is a program where i have used all the inbuilt methods in one program okay uh, let's continue further and uh, let's talk about the dynamic strings in some programming languages what we what we do is we do this char star name now here i have not given any size and i have used a star here star represent the pointer and this string does not have any size and this is dynamic pointer as soon as you put a value in the name its size is allocated so these are the dynamic strings okay the earlier strings that you studied were the static strings so you can place a star name and using this you can place a write a program here so there you go i have written a program based on this so instead of passing name 20 i have passed star name and put a value here and then printed this value now the problem with this char star name is that uh, it has a fixed value and you have to pass the value immediately you cannot read the value of this char star name in the direct in the donor variable okay so this will be the output of your program okay and let me see if we can read the value from user so just a second I'll remove this code i'll have only one variable of star and i'll ask the value from the user pointer and the user name Okay, it worked. Let me see. There you go. It is. It is. It is showing some problems as the welcome message is not printed. So it's better not to read the values from the user. Or uh, uh, let me try one more thing. If it prints the value using put as. no it's still raising some issues so it's better not to use this cast or name okay you can use it in some strings if you have your value by default fixed okay so these are the strings and then you can do these programs by yourself i'll write some programs for you i have written the first program to use all the functions of string header file uh, uh, let's start with third program first as it is easier so i have to write a program so i'll i'll do it here I'll read five names from the user, so I'll say array of five, and each of twenty sides. So using this, this is a two D array. Five names can be con can be considered. Five names can be considered, and each name is of size twenty. Okay, so I have to put a lo loop here now. Enter five names, okay. and I'll start a for loop here for. I equals to zero. I less than five. I plus plus. As I have guys, as as I have told you earlier, so you guys can uh, ask the size from the user as well. But I'll make it. I'll keep it simpler here. So I'll say name I. Okay. Enter. Name. Let's see if it works. Just a second. I will print the names as well. So I'll copy this code. Enter names. So I'll print. the variable int okay, name zero let's say no mean donut mac smith okay 
uh, there's a problem in printing let me check okay just a second I have forgot to pass the I here so let's put Glenn first then Smith David and uh, well so name zero name one all are printed okay so it works fine i have to place a slash in here uh, and instead of person t i'll put some spaces It again so Glenn Smith Maxwell Ross Taylor these names are printed here okay so it works fine now let's try to search a name in the given string so I have to read the name here so I'll declare an item string and I'll ask the user printf enter the name you want to I'll say scanf person test name one and percent item and once the item is read I'll compare the name here if name i uh, comma uh, item name and I'll put it in str cmp compare function and I'll enter string here and I'll say if it equals to zero I'll say just a second print f the name exists in the list and is placed at location comma i and I'll print okay so once the name is found we don't have to continue searching the searching in array and if the name does not exist is equals to equals to 5 then I'll say printf sorry the name does not exist let's compile and run this file and I'll let me run Glenn Smith Warner Rose Taylor and I'll pass a name let's say Warner uh, the name exists in the list and is placed at location 2 and my uh, loop stop so it works fine so this is a program where you can search your names okay you can put it in a separate loop like this one in the string here and I'll remove this let's try it on this again Glenn Smith Maxwell Warner The names are printed and it says the name exists okay so this is the program to search the given string in the in the uh, arrays okay uh, let me write one more program for you guys to sort the names okay so i'll copy this code move it into a new file and say string with bubble sort dot cpp and once i read the name i don't need these lines now and I'll print again here, printf the names in the sorted sorted are put a slash in here. And to compare I need another loop for steps g less than five minus i minus one g plus plus and here in this loop I'll say if string name j name j plus one greater than zero then I'll swap these lines so I need a variable char temp 20 here if I try to do that do that like temp is equals to name j it will not work let's compile and run and see if it works okay first of all I have to declare the variable j as well so I'll say j uh, 
you see here this is an error so you have to use the strc strcpy function strcpy is a copy function and i'll copy the second name into first name and then i'll use strcpy again to copy name j plus one to name j and then i'll use again strcpy function to copy value of temp in name once this string is once this program is done and i don't need this now this is let me check end of a this is end of j and this is end of i now i have to print these names so i'll copy this code from here and put it at the end let's see how it works if it works so let's put five names glenn warner david smith and mr well so the names in sorted order no it doesn't work it didn't work let me check why glenn warner david smith well why is that I still copy name name then name j is copied to temp and then temp comma name j no 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 sorry I have to put a j plus one here let's see if it works Glenn Smith Maxwell Will I think it works so David D, D occurs first then Glenn then Maxwell then Smith then Wo. so if I uh, talk about the characters A to Z so D is DX D comes first then G then M then S then W so I think my sorting worked so there you go so this is a program to sort the names and uh, the remaining of the programs you guys can do it by yourself the 4 5 and 6 you guys can do it by yourself and if you have any problem you guys can let me know so that's it from today thank you very much for viewing my video keep on subscribing and sharing my channel see you in the next video cheers